This is my video for module two about how the school policies affect the way we teach. I've been teaching phonics to my grade one students for a long time and I introduced them to Letterland to make to make it a bit more exciting because they were always a bit bored about it. And as you can see, they're excited about it, they're enjoying it. Um, I'm just letting them freestyle in this lesson so they now know all the sounds and all the characters. So I'm just letting them build their own words and if they can, build any sentences. I, I really feel I could have gone on for longer with this lesson, but every day this happens. Awesome! Very good! Bye! Okay! Wow! Mm -hmm. Can I have a word, please? So all of a sudden a bell will go around the school and the kids just know they have to get up and do their eye test. Okay. And That's the end yeah, of they eye don't enjoy doing it. Um, I think they'd much rather carry on with what they were doing with the phonics lesson. It doesn't leave me any time to really clean up and get ready and then we run over, over schedule and the classes are already only 40 minutes long. Okay, so here we have the first recess time that's at 9.20 in the morning after the first period. And as you can see, they don't get to interact, they don't get to run around freely. They have to jump for a minute and then count how many, have a rest and do it again. And then you look behind them, they've got this really cool playground which they can't play in. Nice day here and it's lunchtime, it's 12.30. Um, yeah, I'm just going to show show you what's going on around the school, basically. Okay, so the school, we've got this great running track, football pitches, basketball court over there. Really big space. It's 12.30, it's break time for the kids, um, and a very small percentage of them are out here. Okay, so maybe they're in the playground. Playing at lunchtime, like kids do, or should do. Completely empty. Let's go see where some of these kids are going to be. Okay, here you can see the kids are back in the classroom. They're watching TV during their lunch time and this happens every day generally from 12.35 in the afternoon until 1 o'clock and they have a class that starts at 1 o'clock so instead of being outside where there's lots of space running around interacting with each other they're just sat in front of the TV um, and not letting off any energy which doesn't set them up really for their next class. Yeah so it's um it's quarter to one in the afternoon, got about another 15 minutes before the kids start class. They go on their lunch break about 10 past 12, they have their lunch, but I never see them playing outside. We've got that new playground. My kids have played out there once on a Monday afternoon. I get one period to go outside once a week for 40 minutes. Yeah, that just really is not enough time. They do have their first period of recess, but it's, it's very planned, it's very organised, it's very regimented. The kids have to skip. They're not free to kind of play with their friends and, you know, do what they want to do. Sometimes the recess changes between, you know, when you've got winter recess time and summer recess time. Summer recess time, they're doing the skipping like you saw this morning. But um, during the winter recess time, uh, basically, if I turn the camera around, all the kids line up along this sideline in their class in a single file. And they basically run to that line and back in a single file. Um, for about 10 minutes and that's their recess time um, yeah just again very organized very rigid and yeah no no free play not everything should be so planned and so organized it's not play time um, and yesterday uh, they had an assembly in the morning I noticed one thing one of the teachers said during the assembly was oh, at lunchtime do I hear people playing football in the hall do I hear people bouncing a ball, kicking a ball? And it just made me think, well the kids, you know, you can see from the video, they're just in there watching TV. It's a bit mind numbing for them. They, they don't want to watch TV. I know they want to be outside. I've asked them. They want to be outside. They want to run around. They want to play. And, you know, they want to mix with their friends. And they, they need to let off some energy, let off some steam. I don't think the kids can distinguish between a classroom and 
an area to play because they have to play in their classroom in their break time. Uh, I feel this does affect us in the classroom and all the other teachers agree with it. It can make teaching quite difficult because you know they haven't let off any energy and they don't always think of their classroom as their classroom they think of it as a place where they play with their friends because it's, it's pretty much the only place where they do do it to be honest and yeah so yeah that's a couple of the school policies that I think um, do affect how uh, we can teach